it's coming along so fast. I mean, it's so overwhelming. In just two days, this huge 4,000 square foot beach house is shipping out. This all moves with the house. Everything goes together. They move the whole house, decks and all. It's moving from its perch overlooking the Gulf of Mexico in Orange Beach, Alabama, to a waterfront lot on the Styx River. It's a daunting 25-mile journey, both on land and on water. The house is too wide to haul down the roads. Fortunately for Jennifer Wood and her husband, Michael, her dad owns a barge. We basically haul houses on it. That's all we do with it. And moving this house is the only way Michael, Jennifer, and their puppy Baxter, <laughs> yep, there's him, <laughs> can afford a home of their own. Oh, it means the world. It is three bedroom, three full bath. It has a very large kitchen. Jennifer's always one of the nice little dining room, so there it is. <laughs> We're very excited, very fortunate to have this home. It's going to be our first home. They bought the home for a rock bottom price. We paid 10000 for the house. It was cheap because it was damaged in a hurricane. Downstairs was two bedrooms, two baths, and a little living room, which got washed out during the storm. The beach has since been sold to a developer. Even though the riverfront lot is a gift from Jennifer's dad, there's still plenty on the line for this young couple. This is going to cost me about $80,000 to have this house moved. That's one thing I'm nervous about. That a lot of money's coming out of my pocket for this. Their entire future is riding on a successful move. They've just been married a year this month. We're planning on having kids. Grandkids. Her dad's been on us. He's like, I'll give you all this lot. You can give me a great kid, so. <laughs> Once we get this behind us, we're going to start. This is the dream house I've always dreamed of having. We have so many plans for this home in the future. But before Michael and Jennifer can settle in and start their family, the house has to make it through an extraordinary move. Anything could go wrong. To start, the house must be dragged across 150 yards of sand. Sand's not real good for what we do. It's easy to get stuck. Be ready to cross this four-lane highway by 10 o'clock the night before the move. Then the house must be loaded onto the barge and be ready to go by high tide the next morning. You have to have the right amount of tide to float the barge off the land once you get that 200,000-pound house on it. The move only gets more risky once the barge sets sail. It's probably a five-hour trip. We have to go under a bridge. Clearing the bridge will be the most challenging part of the entire move. And weather is the one factor they can't control. Once you get the house up on this barge, then you've got a big area that catches wind. And so you can't be maneuvering too much in a real high wind. Hopefully we can keep the show on the road and keep it on schedule. But two days before the big move, the house has yet to survive the first big step, knocking it off its 10-foot pilings. These 52 posts are the only thing holding up the house. The crews have spent the past several days building this massive steel grid to support it once the pilings are cut away. But even with the steel safety net, it's very risky work. Cut it about six or eight inches below it. When you're cutting the pilings, you gotta make sure that you catch the weight load real good so that nothing happens. That's probably the biggest risk. to wait just right so it didn't get tied on the chainsaw. The first piling breaks away clean, but there are 51 more to go. This is the last one of 52. Michael makes the final cut himself. Nothing but these beams right here over our head. <laughs> That's the only thing holding it up. It'll be on the ground tomorrow. That's what we're looking forward to. Wow, it looks different. 
it has no legs. <laughs> yeah, it's legless. The next day, the push is on to make the big highway crossing later that night. To be ready, the house must be lowered off the piles of wooden cribbing that are holding it. It makes me very nervous looking at it now. Hopefully everything stays in place, and hopefully the move goes well. <laughs> All right, time to lower the house. The steel beams are being lowered onto these dollies to create a trailer under the house. When we lower the house, this beam is going to sit directly in the dolly. But it's very slow going. We're coming down 12 inch increments. If the house drops more than a few inches at a time, it could collapse. If you unblock it a foot, I mean, yeah, I mean, you could lose the house. But time is running short. And if the house isn't ready to cross the nearby highway by 10 o'clock tonight, the entire move could be in jeopardy. We definitely need to be there on time. We've got to make the high tide so the barge get off the land. I'm hoping we can get it moved tomorrow for sure. But this house still has a long haul ahead. They let me drive the truck. And the night crossing could mean trouble. It makes you wonder 